Hooray! Art with us! Today, we're switching gears and taking a look at one of the greatest artists of the Italian Renaissance, Michelangelo. Did Michelangelo have any rival artists during his time? Was Michelangelo really reluctant to paint the Sistine Chapel? Did Michelangelo have romantic relationships with men? Michelangelo di Lodovico Buonarroti Simoni was born in Tuscany in Italy in 1475 and would become one of the most famous and influential artists in history. His work spanned across multiple mediums, including painting, sculpture, and architecture. How did Michelangelo create such detailed and lifelike sculptures like David? My name is Pavla, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, click on our name below the video to check out our channel. If our content is the type of thing you love to see, feel free to subscribe and enable notifications. We love getting to know our viewers in the comments section. So make us happy and go ahead and say hi. Join me an artist, my curious child, and two cats on a journey filled with art, laughter, and knowledge about the amazing art world. And to add a bit of spice, stick around until the end for some slightly controversial Michelangelo jokes. So grab a hammer, or a snack, and, and enjoy. enjoy. Michelangelo was a true master of his craft. His work is characterized by its beauty, emotion, and attention to detail. He never married and lived a life of celibacy. However, he did have close relationships with several individuals, including Tommaso dei Cavalieri, a young nobleman, and Vittoria Colonna, a poet and noblewoman, which have led to speculation about his sexuality and personal life. He was also known for his ability to capture the human form in a way that was both realistic and idealized. One of his most famous works is the Statue of David, which he sculpted when he was just 26 years old. The statue depicts David, the biblical hero, in the moments before his battle with Goliath. The statue was carved from a single block of marble that had been rejected by other artists. Michelangelo's David is a masterpiece of Renaissance sculpture, with a sense of movement and tension that captures the drama of the scene. The statue is over 17 feet tall and is considered one of the greatest works of art ever created. Michelangelo was a master sculptor who employed a range of techniques to create his lifelike sculptures. For his famous statue of David, he used a method known as non-finito, which involved leaving parts of the sculpture unfinished to create the illusion of movement and to engage the viewer's imagination. He also carefully studied human anatomy, which allowed him to accurately depict muscles, tendons, and bones in his sculptures. Michelangelo would often use small, handheld tools to chisel away at the marble and bring out the desired details. In addition to technical skill, Michelangelo was also known for his ability to convey emotion and drama in his sculptures. He was able to create a sense of movement and energy in his figures, which gave them a lifelike quality. Michelangelo's other famous sculpture is the Pieta, which he created when he was just 23 years old. The sculpture depicts the Virgin Mary cradling the body of Jesus after his crucifixion. The work is notable for its incredible attention to detail, with every fold of fabric and every contour of the body rendered with precision and care. The sculpture is also known for its emotional power, with the expressions of both Mary and Jesus conveying a deep sense of grief and sorrow. The Pieta is housed in St. Peter's Basilica in Rome, where it remains one of the most visited works of art in the world. He considered himself primarily a sculptor rather than a painter and had little experience with fresco painting, which is the technique used for the chapel ceiling. Additionally, the sheer size of the project was daunting, and he had reservations about working for Pope Julius II, who was known for his difficult temperament. However, despite his reservations, Michelangelo eventually agreed to undertake the project, which would become one of his most famous works. Michelangelo spent four years painting the ceiling, which is over 130 feet long and 45 feet wide. The ceiling is covered in scenes from the Book of Genesis, including the creation of Adam, which has become one of the most recognizable images in art history. Michelangelo's use of color and composition on the ceiling is breathtaking, and the sheer scale of the work is awe-inspiring. In addition to his sculpture and painting Michelangelo was also an accomplished architect. 
He designed the dome of St. Peter's Basilica, which is still one of the most recognizable landmarks in Rome. Michelangelo's design for the dome was revolutionary, with a double shell structure that allowed for the dome to be larger and more stable than any other of its time. The dome is an incredible feat of engineering and is a testament to Michelangelo's mastery of multiple disciplines. Did Michelangelo have any rival artists during his time? Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, and Raphael were contemporaries and highly influential artists during the Renaissance period. While they were not known to be close friends, they certainly knew each other and were aware of each other's work. Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci, in particular, had a bit of a rivalry as they were both vying for the same commissions and recognition from powerful patrons of the arts. They also had different views on art, with Michelangelo leaning towards the classical style and Leonardo exploring more experimental techniques. Raphael, on the other hand, was considered more of a protege of Leonardo da Vinci, and his style was influenced by both Leonardo and Michelangelo. However, there is no evidence to suggest that Michelangelo and Raphael had any significant interactions or friendship. It is difficult to definitively say whether Michelangelo's life was happy or not. While he was incredibly talented and achieved great success in his career as an artist, he also faced numerous challenges and struggles throughout his life. For example, Michelangelo was known to be quite solitary and often preferred to work alone, which may have contributed to feelings of loneliness or isolation. He also had strained relationships with some of his family members, including his father and his brothers. Additionally, Michelangelo experienced a number of personal and professional setbacks, including the failure of some of his artistic projects and conflicts with powerful patrons and officials. That being said, Michelangelo was clearly passionate about his work and dedicated much of his life to creating some of the most iconic works of art in history. Whether or not he was happy in the traditional sense, his legacy as an artist has certainly brought joy and inspiration to countless people over the centuries. Why did Michelangelo refuse to use a paint roller? He, he didn't, didn't want, want to make, make a, a fresco, fresco out, out of himself. himself. <laughs> what did Michelangelo say to the Pope when he finished the Sistine Chapel ceiling? Thanks, Thanks for, for the, the ceiling, ceiling job, job. It, it was, was uplifting. uplifting. Why did Michelangelo get kicked out of art school? Because, because he, he kept, kept drawing, drawing outside, outside the, the lines. lines. How did Michelangelo become such a good sculptor? He, he chiseled, chiseled away, away at, at it. it. <laughs> Michelangelo was a complex and enigmatic figure, known for his fierce dedication to his art and his uncompromising personality. He was a deeply religious man and saw his art as a way to connect with the divine. His work has inspired countless artists over the centuries and continues to captivate audiences today. From his David to his Sistine Chapel ceiling, Michelangelo's art is a testament to the beauty and power of the human spirit. To learn more about Renaissance artists such as Leonardo da Vinci, Raffaello Sanzio, and many others, please see the links in our description below. We would like to know your opinion on whether competitiveness is necessary in art, such as the one between Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci. We're excited to hear from you, so please share your top pick in the comments below. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more artastic adventures, because just like David we too like to have many admirers and you become a beloved part of our big creative happy family. And if you happen to know any jokes about artists, we would absolutely love it if you could share them in the comments section down below. Farewell.